Hello, you guys. Wow, I don't know why I feel like my mic was so a little low. Okay. I think, remember last time? Was it last time that it, like, took oh, a little tumble? Oh, that's why. Maybe. Yikes. Um, well, yeah, you might want to fix. We are situated, maybe, almost. Maybe fix there, this. That's, there, there we go. Little, yeah, there you guys, go. Guys, I should have checked that before we started. <laughs> Hello, I'm Kiki. And I'm Sarah. <laughs> and welcome back to Calling the Shots, or welcome if it's your first time. Yeah. Either way, and we're glad to have you. Merry early Christmas. Merry early Christmas. This comes out um, less than a week from Christmas, actually. Christmas yeah. is a Monday. Yeah. <gasps> Whoa, that's insane. Have you done all your Christmas shopping? No. I mean, <laughs> like, yes, I need to send things out, and I already know it's not going to get there by Christmas, but uh, it's okay. I, uh, I got sick last week, and that really put a damper on a lot of my plans. Because I kind of died for like three days. But Isn't it it's fine. so unfortunate that that, like, I get it. It's because people are like gathering together and everything. Yeah. But it sucks that, and it's like cold, but it sucks that that's like when people get sick. Yeah. It's, it's the holiday season. It's the worst. Yeah. My husband was sick and I tried my best to like not get it, but it's kind of hard. Yeah. No, totally. <laughs> but um, yeah, so he got it. And then I was like, oh, I can't tell if it's just allergies or the inversion or if I'm getting sick, and then, like, I woke up, like, I started feeling it Wednesday. Yeah. And then by Wednesday night, I was, like, dying and, like, didn't go to work on Thursday, just slept all day. It Ugh. was, yeah, it was That's rough. tough. But um, we are on the mend. And so now I need to, like, mail out my stuff. And, yeah, I just have. I feel like a lot of people are going to do stuff, like, the weekend before. Yeah. Even Which, my mom was asking me what I want, and I, like, couldn't give her an answer. I was like, I don't even know. And then I got sick, and I, like, the last thing I was thinking about was, like, my gifts. Right. Or what I want. I was like, what do I get everyone else? Totally. She's like, so, Sarah, like, what can I get you? And I'm like, I, I don't know. At this point, I'm like, just give me, like, a gift card somewhere. Or, Straight like, up. Just Venmo me. My mom like, asked me, and, like, <laughs> my mom literally will be, like, in July, like, what do you want for Christmas? I'm like, hello? I um, don't know what I'm going to want in six yeah, months. Yeah. She's like, oh, there's this really good deal, so if anyone wants anything for Christmas, I'm like, what? What? Or it's like, I don't even know what I'm going to eat for dinner. Literally. <laughs> Let alone getting... I swear it feels like it's that early sometimes. Yeah. Or it'll be, like, right after my birthday, and I'm like, I don't know, it's only, like, end of September. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, yeah, it's so funny. But it's, like... Christmas gifts. We're going to actually help with some ideas yeah. for Christmas gifts. If you gifts. need any last minute gifts. If you're doing some last minute shopping, this will help you out. Also, if you're not, I just think these gifts are really good to keep in mind for like yeah. birthdays, birthdays, anniversaries, mm -hmm. Father's Day, Mother's Day, yeah. Valentine's Day, literally anything. We haven't done a gift episode at yeah. all yet. So. so we're like, okay, if people are struggling, we can help them out. And yeah. this is something that you can kind of use when, whenever, whenever you need to get something. A little gift guide. You know? Yeah, just a little gift guide. A little but sporty girl you? gift did guide. Did you, did you, have you done your, have you finished? Sorry. <laughs> um. Yeah. My dad like just told me, gave like some ideas to us kiddos who have been asking for forever what he wants. But yeah. everyone else, I'm like racking my brain. I'm like, I think he's yeah. taken care of. So, um, yeah, that's good. I just did kind of like little things. I'm feeling like my mic is weird, but I think I'm just weird. <laughs> just um, thrown off. Just thrown off. Yeah. But yeah, my friends and I the other day did actually do like a holiday shoot together. Oh, like fun. we did a, I should see if I can pull a picture. We all wore, I saw this TikTok trend where people are like, this is your sign to go to JCPenney and take. And take like cheesy holiday pictures yes yeah. so we were gonna do that turns out jc penny kind of expensive so really yeah like if you get a big group it's probably fine but like i think for just the prints it's like 50 bucks yeah like just the digital and then it's like at least i wanted to say it was like it ended up being like a hundred dollars or something oh, wow. and i was like so okay jc penny i am not that loyal to this idea yeah but my friend is a photographer and so she was like i already have like backdrops and everything like yeah. you could just we can just come and do it in my backyard so love that it was um yeah it was really fun yeah i've seen the funny like sibling ones like the cheesy sibling ones yeah so we all wore like oh the so black cute. turtlenecks and the jean jean and like some people even wore like 
denim on denim with black and we did like awkward ones and whatever it was oh honestly gosh. hard yes, to fit all of us poses. yes we did so Love many like it. goofy just funny things but yeah it was a lot of fun that is so and fun. i did my christmas nails oh my gosh they're so cute it's like some of my favorite i'm work. just like so impressed by the fact you've gotten so good at i've it. gotten honestly pretty good i'm not even i gonna feel lie. like i've seen the journey yeah, you've been there for yeah. it. Where before it was kind of like colors and not shaped well. But this time, you guys, I did like a, nobody probably cares as much, but I did a Christmas tree. And then I did like on one nail. And then I did white, green, red, and gold, like squiggles kind of blended together on another. And then I did one that was like a bow. present bow wrapping thing. Yeah. And then the other two fingers are just like red and green French tips. tips French yeah. tips so love it it was really fun I love when I can get creative with my yeah hands. no that's so fun yeah yeah mine are still just green but I they're love- going strong they are going strong I was looking at them as you were prepping stuff yeah in here so yeah we'll see next time maybe I'll try to do a little more it like we'll takes see. a little bit but then you just kind of are like eh, I might as well try and then it ends up being this like fun art project <laughs> <laughs> then you're there for five hours yeah like where'd the time go I'm like oh just catching up on my shows <laughs> calling everyone I know I'm dead. What, um, anything else for you, Sarah? No, I think that's it. Yeah. Just so excited for Christmas. You're staying here for Christmas, right? I am, which is, I haven't done that before. Like, I've gone home every Christmas. Yeah. And this is the first Christmas I'm not, but I'm kind of excited for us. Because, so, my husband's parents live here, but Mm -hmm. they're going to be out of town also. So, it's going to be, like, a cute little, like... Me and him Christmas for I'm our first really Christmas. I'm excited about this. Yeah, so we'll probably do something with his sister because his sister will still be in town. Mm-hmm. Um, we're going to Rodizio on Christmas Eve. So fun. Which is like, it's like I've never done that, but I'm excited. Yeah, I'm just not going to eat all day. Yeah, but for places <laughs> um, like that, Rodizio is like a Brazilian like buffet grill, and yeah. they like have a bunch of different types of meat, and they like come around and like cut a piece of meat off and give it to you. And, and you it's just like never ending. You just keep eating. Yeah, you eat until you tell them to stop. Anyways, but um, so I'm super excited to have like our own little Christmas. Maybe like this figure is... out our own tradition. I was just gonna say I'm like excited. Yeah, for you. he even and he's like super into Christmas, so he's like, "What's gonna be our tradition?" And I'm like. I don't know. I so, am so I'm excited. excited. I'm a little sad, like, that I won't be with my family. Yeah. But um, it will be fun. It will be probably pretty low-key. Nothing, like, crazy. Yeah. But, but it is fun because, like, let's say you do something where you're like, hmm, maybe I'll make cinnamon rolls in the morning. You could just do that for the rest of your, your life. Lives. Yeah. That's yeah. just crazy. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, we're trying to figure out, like, the details of stuff. But, uh, yeah. It's going to be fun. And you are going home, though, right? I am going home. Yeah. Just for, like, a week. Which... Feels like a long time for me, actually. Yeah. But at this point, I feel like a week is a long time. A week time. is a really long time. I'm like, I don't know what I'm going to do. Yeah. But it'll be fine. Yeah. <laughs> no, it'll Spend be fun. With the fam. I'm excited to see the fam for sure. It'll be super fun to see them. So, yeah, I'll go home. But yeah. Oh, cool. That's the holiday stuff. Awesome. Here's the other stuff. We actually don't even have, we're so excited about our gifts. Yeah. That we're just kind of want the focus to be on that. So, we only have a few things for yeah. just a few quick sports updates sports things that we only things we deem worthy or interesting of course and you should go first because my dog's still pulling up no you're okay (laughs) so um you guys have probably seen this if not then like this is interesting it's been all over the place but uh we've talked about him before um draymond green he's an nba player for um the warriors Mm -hmm. san francisco uh, Golden State Warriors, um, and he's had issues in the past. Um, he gets ejected from games quite frequently. He is as, okay, so as someone who's, like, a Warriors fan, yeah. I'm, like, a casual NBA fan, but, like, the Warriors aren't my team. I need yeah. to get more into the season, honestly. But that's not the point. The point is that, for the most part, like, up until... Like, recently things got pretty bad with him, honestly, yeah. the past, like, year or two, where, like, he's kind of always been a physical player that does get, like, yeah. ejected, and he's kind of the player where, like, everyone, I feel like up until recently, everyone was, like, he's the type of player that, like, you hate unless he's on your team. Yeah. But even recently, it's, like... He's turned into a pretty big sports villain. Yeah. For sure. Because he's just so physical like he seems like it 
it feels like he just wants to fight people. Yeah. And yeah. as things have kind of happened, people have criticized him. And he's kind of come out and be, been like, this is me. This is always yeah. how I've played. You're telling me not to get technical. So you're telling me not to get fouled. You're telling me not to yeah. be aggressive. But that's always how I've been. Yeah. But it's like... It's, it's gotten to a point where it's like too far. Yeah. Um. So the most recent incident happened in the Warriors game against the Suns. Um, they lost, ended up, but uh, Draymond struck Nurkic, Yersiv Nurkic, in the face, which is a Suns player. Um, he said he was trying to, like, it was um, sell a foul because he, like, kind of... It was a physical, like, play between the two, but he had his back to Nurkic, and he, like turned around and like swung at him it was just interesting because it was almost like he didn't even it looked like he was just turning around and taking a punch like yeah. he didn't even know where he was but yeah. he was like i'm just gonna throw, throw a punch yeah i'm just gonna throw hands yeah like um so yeah he literally just kind of swung yeah so he claimed he was selling the fla- the foul obviously no one believed him and the nba ended up suspending him indefinitely until he agrees to go to like counseling like anger management that kind of whole situation people are like he honestly needs help at this point because also for context like a year ish maybe a little over i'm trying to get my timelines right but like a year ago last last season he had punched his teammate in practice yeah and we're like it, his teammate, which Jordan Poole, who's no longer yeah. with the Warriors, but like basically he was kind of you trash talk in practice. Sounds like that's what he did. He punched him in the face, and yeah. it, like that's where it's like, okay, this is a real problem because like it's happening with every team. It's happened in their own <laughs> locker room. Like we yeah. get it, you're an aggressive player, but this needs to be controlled, and it seems like you have issues, so you need to you get need help. To sort them out. Yeah, because. Already this season, he had put a player in a chokehold and a headlock, and he also had stomped on a player. So, like, yeah. there's just been too many things to happen, and it get, seems to be getting more and more frequent that, like, the NBA, NBA had to do something about it. Yeah. Um. And so, apparently, he is starting counseling, um, and he could be out for, like, just three weeks but that also means, like, in NBA time, that's, like, a lot. Of, that's, like, that's a up lot to 12 of games. games. That's a lot of games in the and NBA. And so, anyways, I honestly think that he shouldn't play for the rest of the season. I think this kind of counseling takes longer than, like, three weeks to, like, show real yeah, progress. Yeah, like, true change, true change isn't going to happen that fast. But I think the hope is that he can, like control himself (laughs) be more in control while he's in the process of changing yeah so yeah that's like what's going on with him Uh, we'll see if he does come back in three weeks time i'm curious to see what happens or the progress that's made they have said they're not going to speak a ton about it just for his like privacy and because obviously counseling is a very personal thing Um, but I'm curious to see what happens. Yeah, and I think things have been, like, like, the, Steve Kerr, the head coach of the Warriors, um, he's just, like, a likable dude in the NBA. Um, Mm -hmm. he played with Michael Jordan, he's, like, super well-known, um, and he's obviously, like, coached this dynasty. Yeah. Um, but he said he, about Draymond, he was, like, the one who chewed, Whoa, the one who choked Rudy, the one who took a wild flail, the one who punched Jordan last year, that's the guy who needs to change. Yeah. And I just thought that was, like, a good way of saying it, where he's just, like, I'm not saying he's just, like, terrible in everything, but these things that are happening, that type of guy, like, who's been just absolutely wild in, yeah. he needs help, you For know? Sure. And so I thought that was, like, a good way to address it, yeah. and I hope that... Yeah, honestly, like, I think, I just think he said it really well. Like, yeah. I'm sure he hasn't always, he's always been aggressive, but, like, things have gone crazy, and that's where things need to change. Yeah, so, wishing the best. Wishing the best. Pretty crazy, though. Like, it's it's pretty dramatic when it gets to this point. It's yeah. rare that it does. <laughs> For sure. Um. Yeah, that's, that's all we got from the NBA. As for the NFL, this is just wild to me. Um, Aaron Rodgers. It does not feel like that long ago because it wasn't. Yeah. It was like three months ago that we were saying Aaron Rodgers tore his Achilles. Season ending. Season ending. 
season had barely begun and yeah. it was season ending, right? Um, but he could be cleared to play. Yeah. Like, this is, what, three months later yeah. and we're talking about whether or not he's going to be uh, cleared to play. So, in the NFL, it's kind of complicated, but, like, you can put a player on, like, an injured reserve list. And yeah. then if they're healthy enough, then you can, like, activate them. Yeah. Um, and that's, like, a way to keep them on your roster without being, like, their season's just, like, done, done. right? Yeah. Um, so he has been in this, like, 21-day practice window, which started, like, late last month, late yeah. um, November, so not too long ago, but it expires this week. So within that practice window, the team has to decide before it's over whether or not they're going to activate him or if they're just going to, like, end his season. season. Yeah. So also for context, he plays for the Jets, and the Jets were officially, like, eliminated from playoff contention. Yeah. So for me, does not make any sense for him to come back. Yeah, it doesn't. Like, you have, you're not playing for anything at this point. You're not playing for anything. He did say, I will say, when it happened, he said it was a goal for him to, like, be back this 100%. season. 100%. But is it worth it at this point? That's how I feel. I feel like... It's not, I get you want to be like, look, I can do this and I love this game and I want to play this game, but at what cost? Because you're not playing to be in the playoffs. That's over. And you just put yourself at a higher risk of being hurt again. Yeah, re-injuring it. And that's the thing is what some like medical experts have said, like, yes, you could re-injure it, but it's also likely that you end up injuring something else else in the process. Yeah, yeah. So... Maybe not, Aaron. I'm going to say no if it was up to me. Yeah, I would say just relax. Come back next season. Well, and you don't, no one wants to rush. Fully healthy. Yes. Let's not rush it. Even if you feel like you're fully healthy, that doesn't mean that you are necessarily. No one has ever come back from tearing an Achilles this quickly. Ever. I get you want to be the first to do it, but like, is it really, it doesn't doesn't matter at this point. Yeah. Yeah. So. So that. (laughs) Those are our thoughts on that, period. (laughs) (laughs) Anyways, and then switching to some college sports. Yeah. um, The NCAA Women's Volleyball Championships happened this past week. And um, it was against Texas and Nebraska. Both huge volleyball schools. Yeah. I love volleyball schools. Yeah. We've talked about Nebraska before because they were the ones who had one of their matches in the football stadium and broke the attendance record Mm -hmm. for, like, women's volleyball, um, which was crazy. And even throughout the year, they've had the, the, like, highest attendance at their games. Um, And then Texas won last year, and they ended up sweeping Nebraska this year to win it again for the second straight year. And that's also the second straight sweep that they've had. That's in um, the championship Yeah, game? in the championship Oh, they swept game. in the... Yeah. That's really... That is pure Which is dominance. crazy. And it's insane because going into this, like, one of the big storylines was Nebraska's, like, front line of blockers are all, like, massive. They're, like, NBA level height. They're super tall. They were telling me about this. The tallest one is, like, 6'7 or 6'8. And then the rest of them are all above 6 foot. So Which wild. normally, like, to put that in perspective, like... Average is usually like 5'11. Yeah. For like, and that's tall. That's like you're a tall blocker. Yeah. And so for them to all be above six foot, like that's insane. Yeah, that is so, that is so, so crazy. I, I don't, that, that is like in men's volleyball, you see people like more that, around yeah. that height, honestly. Yeah. Like, but that's just, yeah. For you're, females you're getting to be up, up there. there. Yeah. You're already up there just yeah. standing. So, so, anyways, good for shout good out to for, Texas. Shout out to Texas. They somehow were able to get the ball over that big of a block. Straight up. Um, but yeah, sh- we just wanted to give them a quick shout out. Yeah, back quick to shout back out to them. Um, congratulations. Yeah, we love. Yeah, back to back is so fun. I saw yeah. a TikTok. I'm trying to remember which team it was, but it was like twas the night before the national championship, and it was oh, like cute. all the women's. It was like all the players laying in their bed in like. Then the sheets were like the covers were on them, but then over the covers was their uniform like laying That's on top funny. of them. <laughs> and it just went from like teammate to teammate. teammate. I was That's like, that funny. is 
fantastic work. Yeah. Fan- truly chef's kiss. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it. it was awesome. <laughs> so um, in theme with Christmas, of course. But, yeah. Yeah. Love. I love seeing like their personalities and I stuff know. like that. So fun. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Speaking of Christmas. Christmas. Are we ready? It is not the I'm night before Christmas, so but excited. it is time <laughs> to get into our gifts. Um, did I say I was going to go first on this one? Yes. Yes. I think so. Okay. So just so you know, we're doing kind of sporty gifts and then just random things. Yeah. Um, but I'm going to start with the sporty one. Okay. Just because yeah. why not? And I'm going to start with one that I have gifted before. That's very fun. Um, and I've seen a lot of different versions where it's just sport centered wall art. So I've done it where it's like a player and it's like modern art, but it's like a player in like a color palette or I've seen it done with like stadiums. Yeah. You can put a stadium and it's kind of just like, it's always looks like very, from what I've seen, it's always like very sleek and like a black frame. and Like a poster. Like a poster, but like very, but it just feels a little more like artsy. Chic, chic, decorative. And what I think is really fun about this is you could just get like literally one frame that's like big or something. I've seen even ones where it had like mini outlines of all the NFL stadiums or something like that. Or you can do like, three different ones and have like three players from one team or like whatever and kind of switch up like the colors. But I think that's a really good one because I think a lot of times I see like sporty areas and they end up looking like teenage boys live there. Yeah. And I just like the idea of it being like a clean, nice Nice, aesthetic. It's either a sports bar or like a teenage boys A hundred percent. There's no in between. (laughs) Where's the in between? Because I'm like, I like sports. Like, I want decorations of it. Yeah. But I don't want to look like I live in a teenage boys room or a bar. Yeah. (laughs) No, that is a good one. I remember you showing me the one because you made yours, didn't yeah, you? Yeah. So because there's you can get like customizable ones where you pay for like someone mm-hmm. to print it for you and send it to you and do like your favorite teams with players or whatever. <sighs> but I was very behind on Valentine's Day last year, and so I was like, I'm just gonna make it myself, and I did, and it was so it looked fun, so cute. It's yeah. like in my boyfriend's little office right now. Oh, so, so fun! It's fun. So would would recommend. Okay. Love that. Going off of that, another, like, decorative piece you could do, wall art kind of thing, is neon signs. There's, like, a lot of... And, by the way, these are all things, like, we're trying to give you ideas outside of, like, a jersey or a hat or, like, tickets. Here's the thing. Jersey, hat, tickets, always fun. You already know where to find those. And also, if you think, what's a sports gift? Those are going to be the first things that come Come to your mind. mind. You don't need us to tell you that. Yeah. So we're trying to, we try to like do our research and find some things that maybe are a little outside the box. Yeah. So that brings me to like customizable neon signs. I've seen a lot where they're like the Jordan sneaker or like the Nike logo. You can even get like the number of their favorite player or like a name. Or you could even do like a saying, like you could do like a... (laughs) Bang, bang, Niner gang, yeah. like, you know, or something like that. Like, yeah. you could do a they lot of stuff. They are a little stuff. pricier. Um, they're, they range, We're giving though. you guys range here. I should have said. But they're super fun. Nice. And, again, something that, like, looks unique but isn't cheesy. Yeah. Um, <laughs> poor Sarah. She's doing yeah, her absolute I'm best. Yeah, I'm sorry, guys. I, I took a cough drop and... It's not helping anymore. I should have given you water. <laughs> I do have water. I'm going to grab it. You grab it. You do that. your next one. I literally was like, I'm the worst host ever. Okay. Anyways, because we record at my place. But, um, okay, my next one, I'm tr- I'm debating which one I want to do. Um, I saw this one. This popped up on my TikTok, like, for you page, and I thought it was just, like, really fun. It's just, like, a really big blanket but then it has stadiums. Did you write that one down? Like I'm sorry because I should have no, okay. I have so many other ones that I wrote down. No, it's okay. I, I've seen this one all over TikTok. I'll let and I you explain. Super fun. But you can get just like your favorite stadium or your boyfriend or friend's favorite stadium printed on a, like a fuzzy blanket. Which, which is, is so, so cute. cool. And also I, so I clicked on the link and was like going through it. Hunter, stop listening if you're listening. I might get this for my boyfriend for Christmas. <laughs> yeah. I already got, like, I asked what he wanted, and he was like, these nice sweats. And I was like, yeah. okay, well. Socks. Cool. Most boy thing ever. You I know? know. I'm like, 
That's boring. I literally was like, I don't know if I want to get you that, though. Yeah. And he's like, okay, well, you don't have to get you asked. And I'm like, I should, though, because he wants it. But I'm like, maybe I'll get this <laughs> as an additional thing. Yeah. A lot of times, those like, I shouldn't say a lot of times, but sometimes I feel like what places will do is they're like, we have, like, this vintage whatever or this team or whatever, and they yeah. don't have every team. Yeah. And I looked it up, and, like, they have Utah. Yeah. So I thought I think, that was really cool. Did you see the same site? It was, like, called Custom Ball, I think, is the one no. I saw. Oh, Custom Ball. Oh, maybe. I don't remember what the site okay. was called. I literally wanted to find it, so I was like, if you want to look it up, that's the one I saw the most. It's called Custom Ball. I have a link of it in my notes, so I can, I can pull it up and confirm. <laughs> yeah. Because I was like, there's a few different sites that do it, but that's the one that That's I... true. We got to say where these things are. <laughs> yeah, that's the one I saw the most was Custom Ball. Um, yeah, mine was Custom Ball too. Yeah. And also just as a reference, the other things that I've talked about, you can get on like... I think Etsy's probably the most popular place yeah. from. Etsy does a lot of personalized stuff, which I <sighs> love, obviously. But um, yeah, Custom, custom Ball... Dot is, com. Yeah. The sports, the stadium blankets. You can literally also search like customball.com stadium blankets. <laughs> I Google, I just type out anything I want specifically in yeah. Google. Um, yeah. So that's a good was one. a shared one. That's a, that's a mutual one. <laughs> Agreed. Um, did you want to do another one? Or do you want me to do one? I don't care. What do you want? I'll do one. You do. Okay. One. <laughs> so another one I saw a lot of was clothing is super fun what do you get outside of a jersey yeah so there's a lot of places that do like vintage like graphic tees or mm-hmm. fun like crew neck shirts and so play a society is one that does one for like the wnba That's cool. so they have like fun wnba ones or even like <clears throat> i'm sorry i'm you're losing doing, my voice you're doing really I'm dying. good um the wnba logo and they're super fun and super cute for like your female girlies. Yeah, I think that's so fun. I think, keep that in mind. I love that you found a WNBA one. I wrote this down. I assumed you would do it too, though, so I didn't, like, I wasn't <laughs> going to say it. But um, Abercrombie also has, like, yeah. an NFL line right now. I wrote that down, yeah. So there's definitely a few places, and honestly, I think this is something, if you want to do this even, like, as, like, a day with your friends or a mm-hmm. date or whatever, it's fun. You can usually find some stuff of like local teams like we're yeah. we're in utah so like if you go to a thrift shop sometimes you can find some like cool like byu in utah yeah. stuff i've gotten um do you know like my retro byu crew neck mm-hmm. that was thrifted by someone and get like i wanted a white so elephant fun. so i yeah you can kind of look a few places for those but yeah wmba where was that one again Play a society. Play a society. Okay. Yeah. And then Abercrombie has an NFL line right now. Yeah. The NFL line's kind of expensive. I'll be honest. I looked into it. I was like, oh. But also you can find stuff again like on Etsy and those are like Go to your local vintage like shops. Shop. Yeah. Mm-hmm. There's always kind of things with that. Okay. Um, I'm so scared I'm going to overlap <laughs> on yours. <laughs> no, you're fine. <laughs> yeah. Um, I'll do one that I was like kind of thought would be cool to get um this is another sports one maybe i'll end with my non-sports ones but yeah. um this could be sports and non-sports it was a clear bag but it just had like a team on it yeah i saw those i think that's so cool because if you guys aren't aware anytime you go into a stadium ever if you're gonna bring a bag beyond like basically the size of like a wallet yeah it needs to be clear yeah um so Some even have, like, you can't have a, a bag over a certain size. Yes, even if it's clear. So it's, like, yeah. it's just kind of good to have something always. Like, if I, I'm not, would be great. If I was a season ticket holder to some stadium, I would totally get a clear bag yeah. with that team on it. But also, I think that would be fun <sighs> even if I was, like, going to a watch party or something. Like, I would use that bag yeah. or, like. For sure. You can use it for, like, I'm. I don't know if they let you have bags in concerts, but like most stadium things ever, it, if you bring a bag, yeah. it's a clear bag. It has to be clear. So, um, oh, I need to find the website on on where that was. Yeah, I saw that one. But Along with that, um, what I'll actually do is this one I found on this girl's TikTok. Her name is, her handle was Allie with a Y, A-L-Y, and then Silverio. Like silver, I-O at the end. <laughs> yeah. 
Um, I think so we looked can, up the same girl. Literally. Yeah, no, I'm sure it popped up on both of our for you pages. Yeah, because it popped up on my even search for it. But she had a, she had some ideas that I got pulled from, and this was on one of them. Yeah. So if you search, it's like her most viewed video. Yeah. It's easy to find, but and maybe we'll we'll throw it up on. Yeah, we'll say social. Yeah, we'll true. We'll give you a little yeah peek of it, for sure. Um, I think the only ones I have left are non sports ones, but still fun. <clears throat> I'm sorry. I'm going to try to get through this. Okay. One that my friend literally bought for herself and I was like, that is super good and would be a good gift is like a three in one charging cube for like Apple products. That's cool. And the one she got is so compact and you can charge it and then be, it'll be like portable and it has like a place for your phone and your watch and your AirPods. And I was like, that is such a good idea because so cool. I never have enough places to plug in all of my devices. And so it was fun. That was all. And it's like super compact. It's literally like a Rubik's cube that has charging ports on it. That is so cool. And I genuinely feel like that's something anyone <laughs> can use. Um, yeah. Love that. I will kind of go off of that. I was like, try- I was just trying to think of like what's something that like... You truly feel like anyone could have use for similar to something like that. And as I was just like scrolling through things, I was like, you know what is so useful? Air tags. I yeah. don't have any and I kind of wish I did. Yeah. Because like I know people who will like put it in their luggage on a trip so they can like see if their luggage is close to coming to the That's so luggage smart. thing. Yeah. What? Isn't that crazy? Yeah. Like, I never thought of that. You can literally. But, which also, if your luggage got left somewhere, would be good to know. But, like, yeah. you can put it on anything. I've seen moms who, like, put it in the sole of their children's shoes. Like, yeah. you can truly, track like. Track your pets, track your phone. Yeah, track your phone. You your can wallet. put it in your backpack, your wallet, a purse, whatever. Keys. keys. Yeah, keys. Probably the number one thing. I don't yeah. know how we just said keys. <laughs> but I was just, like, I feel like that's something that would literally be useful to yeah. Anyone that has like any type, and these are of things you can find on literally the Apple, the Apple Store. Yeah, and I think Amazon has a version yeah. of theirs of it or something like that. So, Air Tags, uh, Air Tags are like I would totally take some. <laughs> yeah, the last one I have is a massage gun, which I such a good one, Sarah. Was I really actually kind of want for myself, and I've been seeing them all over the place. And literally, if you, I don't even, I'm not super intense in the gym, but like I still get sore. Or if you wake up, like slept on your neck wrong or something, like having a massage gun would be so helpful. And the more I've been going, I've been trying to go to the gym more regularly, the more I'm like, I really need to get one. Yeah, no, literally my boyfriend had one and his died and I used to steal all the time. And I'm like, who am I? What do I do? Yeah. <laughs> like so. these are so, this is so nice. I literally want one this second. <laughs> Yeah, so that was my last one was a massage gun. That's fun. Um, My last one is like a very, I'll just do like a very general one. Mm-hmm. But I think what's really fun is getting like some type of activity for someone. Yeah. So like I think if you like doing like a mood, like a, like a movie night and you could put like a Fandango gift card with like. But then, like, make it cute and fun and, like, a popcorn bucket with movie theater popcorn and their yeah. favorite candies. Or, like, um, I or like if you really want to be bougie, it's like, mm, here's, like, we're like a spa day. And yeah. then get, like, bath bombs with it or yeah. something, like, attached. Or, obviously, tickets to a game. And I think just making it cute where, like, I saw someone was, like, you, like, tickets to a game, obviously, but, like, print out the like a uh, design of the tickets yeah. so that because nowadays like it's just Everything's on your phone digital, yeah but i think like an activity and attaching it with something cute is like a really fun way to be like yeah. we're gonna make memories together do something fun together That's like fun. with your friends or family i think when i was younger i did this like for my parents like got them a movie date night or something cute um yeah i just think like i like going out and doing something for me is always fun yeah no i think that's an amazing idea i also wanted to ask you i wasn't i meant to do this first but what's like one of the most like your favorite gifts that you've ever gotten most Um, memorable this is such a good question my most memorable one is when i was like this is a really good question sarah (laughs) i was like i wanted us to like talk about gifts that we've gotten too because i was like there's some fun ones and that could inspire some people totally 
I think when I, like, think back to, like, my childhood or living at home, there's one gift that comes to mind. And my dad, when I was a gymnast, built me a beam. Like, built a beam that was probably, like, three feet tall, the actual, like, size of a beam out of wood. And, like, wrapped it in carpet. And it was, like truly the most thoughtful yeah, thing that's ever. so cute that one was like i think really we actually special. had a beam too but it was not off the it was like this much. it was I, like a not even a foot off yeah the when i got older i got one that was like small or whatever yeah. this i'm trying to think like this might have been when my family was poor so yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no I, i'm just kidding i'm not really sure but like actually i think that's so cute though be, it's not like he could buy me a, beam. a legit beam guys equipment is so expensive yeah. especially if it's a real one so and like large <laughs> like large and heavy and whatever so yeah he like made a beam out of wood for That's me so and it was really special yeah i, I love that. that what about you i want to hear yours um the first one that comes to my mind my mom was like very cute anytime there was like a a holiday she would make like a scavenger hunt out of it oh cute so like whenever we did like easter basket she made us like made a scavenger hunt to our east easter basket you told me about this before, which is actually, so cute which i love and so if you ever want to do that literally whatever's at the end of it you could make like a cute little scavenger hunt out of it for them to find the gift and so one christmas we lived on like a big plot of land growing up mm-hmm. and my parents got us a golf cart like an elect, like an allergic golf cart. That's epic. And my dream. It was. I just remember because they made a scavenger hunt out of it, so we were like looking all throughout the house, and like finding little clues, and it ended up taking us to like the front, like our front yard where our driveway was, and there was just like a big golf cart with a big bow on it. That's and so we had fun. that thing for we, my parents. I think still have it, but like I don't <laughs> think it runs anymore, but. We ran that thing into the ground because we drove it all over. My dad put a turbo in it. So it got like, instead of nine miles an hour, it goes like 12. That's so funny. And we would drive it all throughout. Like we lived in Orange Grove. And so we drive it all throughout the Orange Grove. And then when we moved, we moved to like a lot of small little roads. And I lived around friends who had golf carts. And we'd all yeah. just drive to each other's houses. That is so cute. On our golf carts. Oh my gosh. And so it like it, honestly, like it was an investment but like it paid off like we used it all the time for like everything it that was so is fun. so cool do you like giving gifts or it's okay if you don't no i <laughs> love to give gifts i found that my husband's kind of hard to like give gifts to yeah he definitely gets uncomfortable about like receiving gifts but that's one of the things i love to do is like come up with fun ideas And, like, actually give gifts. And so I think I've struggled this Christmas because, like, I'm not going home. So, like, getting gifts from my family has been hard because I'm, like, I'd have to mail it to them. Mm -hmm. Or, like, I don't know. I'm not going to be there to, like, see them open it. And, like, I don't know. It just makes it kind of difficult. But I love to give gifts and, like, see the joy that it, like, brings. And, like, try to make it, like, personal for each each person in my life. But, like, my husband has made it so hard for him because he just, like... Is very particular. Yeah. And also has expensive taste. But I anyways. get that. That's why I'm telling you. My yeah. boyfriend's on this pair of sweats. I was like, okay, well, okay. this might be it. Yeah, he literally was like, Sarah, everything I want is like, to, like, just give me socks. I'm like, no. Right? I well, will get you the socks problem. and. This is the problem. Anytime I ask him, like, what do you want? He's like, don't give me anything. I'm like, here's the thing. I'm going to get you something. So you might as well just like tell, tell me. me. Otherwise, I'm going to get you something you yeah. don't want. Yeah. <laughs> and so he'll literally be like, give me socks. I'm like, okay. And this was literally how like my socks com- is like a you're like, like cool, a stocking stuffer. But what else? Yeah, this is legit. I had to work so hard to be like, yeah, no, just tell me and I like just yeah. tell me what it what is. What about you? Do you are you a big gift giver? Um, I I do like giving gifts. I feel like it kind of depends like if I can get excited about it. I know that sounds <laughs> dumb, but like yeah, sometimes I'm like if it's something I would want, then I'm like extra excited to yeah, give when it. You're like, ins- like inspired like have like an inspired gift. <laughs> yes. Where like my dad's a pilot, like I love getting him stuff and when he opens it it makes me excited, but I'm like, hopefully this is yeah, good. Like, you know what stress- I mean? Yeah, it's just stressful. like it's a little stressful. And usually that's why I had to be like, I'm sorry, you just gotta tell me exactly what yeah. it is or whatever. But um, if I know that they want it and I know they're going to like it, I'm, like, really excited. Yeah. So. My parents have gotten to the point where they literally will just buy themselves the gift. Because, like, obviously they share income yeah. at this point. 
And so my dad would be like, oh, yeah, you got me these tools for Christmas. Thanks. Like, thanks, honey. That's and my so mom's cute. like, oh, you're welcome. <laughs> like, it's like they that. just label it as like, oh, like, I'm buying it, but it's it's coming from you. Yes. And I'm like, that's kind of lame. But also, like, you're at that point. You've been married for, like, almost 40 years now. Like, it makes sense. Well, and everyone, <laughs> seriously, and everyone I feel like does it differently. Different, yeah. Like, for if my dad like really wants to surprise my mom, he'll like send her birthday gift to like my sister's house yeah. or something. Cause he's like, she's gonna open it. Yeah. Like, you know what I mean? So um, it makes it a little harder. <laughs> yeah, exactly. But overall, especially for like my family who I know so well, I'm like, like my family, my boyfriend, anyone I'm like really close with, I'm like, this is great. If I have to give gift to like someone I don't know that well, I'm like, I'm stressed. just stressed. I'm yeah, just stressed. I agree. I 100% agree. I love doing it for people who I like like and just super close with but yeah. it's definitely hard when you're like i have no idea mm-hmm. but anyways this was fun the season of giving yeah we love it yeah um yeah i literally like lo- i loved looking up these gifts yeah and it now- was yeah it was very fun it and was gave me some inspo because i still need to ship off some presents, <laughs> so. yeah if you haven't done your gift shopping go do that yes hopefully we helped you out yeah but that's Hopefully all. Hopefully you have a good Christmas. Hopefully too. you have a, yeah, most importantly, Merry Christmas, everyone. Yeah. Merry Christmas. Um, if you don't, happy holidays to whatever yeah. holiday you celebrate as well. Um, and we just hope you have the best time. Yeah. And we hope we have the best time too, I'll be honest. <laughs> yeah, same. I'm excited <laughs> to hear how it goes. I know, same. Um, that's all we've got though on calling the shots. shots. See you next time. See ya. Merry Christmas. <laughs>